what just happened what oh my word is this happening minority judgment penned by theron j and concurred in by jafta uh, jafta j agrees that mr zuma is in contempt of the order made in cct 295 stop 20. okay sorry guys but you know if you don't really know what's going on here's the thing and a lot of you might probably be like wondering if if, if you're not from south africa or whatever and you don't follow on south african news and everything that's fine. i just had my wisdom two three moves so uh, you, I, I do apologize if i sound a little crazy and funny i've slowed down a little bit um but i just couldn't miss out on this because it's just crazy what just happened so jacob zuma has just been sentenced to prison okay here's the thing i had made a decision some time ago not to make videos about politics and well this is why it's a big deal because really i'm all about uh, you know i've just decided to trim down my youtube channel to focus more on faith issues face faith-based related issues social orientated issues and other different kind of commentaries and reviews and i'm not really talking so much about film industry related things and stuff like that i've, I've just been doing a serious overhaul of my channel and over the last few months so one of the reasons why i decided not to make political videos or to talk about politics that much is for the one mere reason that um everybody dislikes politics right now i think a lot of people have switched off from politics uh, one of the reasons is because i believe in a god of justice i'm a believer i'm a faith-based person if you if you watch a lot of my videos and the reason why i switched off from that and i really don't want to get into politics and things like that obviously i got really tired of the donald trump stuff over the u.s politics african politics but any political issues really we all know the same old tricks you know politicians seem to get away with it we see famous people we see people tending to just sort of you know there's a scandal about something and there's all these court proceedings and nothing ever happens there's no sentencing that ever happens we're all sick and tired of the the Zondo commission we hear about all kinds of things being printed on the newspapers and we're like yo we've always known this but when is there ever going to be a sentencing and i think over time people have lost a lot of patience um in their belief in the arms of of justice they don't believe in their own constitution in the country you've got a lot of people living in the country because they don't believe in the country anymore they don't believe that south africa is a democratic and constitutional country we have one of the most incredible constitutions well written constitutions in the world we've got everything right on paper the problem is if you can't enforce the rules on everybody so that we understand that everybody has to play by the rules and everybody is subject to the law it, 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 it can be a problem it can be a serious problem in that you know we are all we are all under the law we have to be subject to the laws of the country we all have to understand that that's everyone is under the, no one is above the law period that's it no politicians no rich and famous billionaires or whatever the case may be it's not about race it's not about you know your name or prestige but it's it's really about the fact that it restores a sense of pride in people and our democracy and understanding that no one is above the we are all equal in the eyes of the law and people are happy because of the people could be couldn't be happier than just to see that the fact that you know we we know that police take bribes but you know i mean you know what i'm saying like when a system is broken people lose hope in a system i feel discouraged personally to go to the police station i will not go to the police station there's no way no cat will go to the police station because you know those cats man nobody wants to make arrests anymore you know you got people coming from outside countries from foreign countries there's a lot of crazy issues that happen in this country this so-called uh, uh, xenophobic attacks they're based off what people being sick and tired and seeing for nationals coming into the country and bribing their way through all these different things the bushiri issue how the heck did he leave the country he had to pay money to somebody in order, in order to get out of the country he wasn't supposed to get out of the country so this restores a sense of pride and hope in people about the fact that 
we have a justice system and a constitution system that should work for the people. It needs to work for the people. The system has to work for the people. If it doesn't work for the people, people lose hope in the system. And this is why it's a big deal. That's why people feel proud about that. You know, I think crime is the number one thing right now that's got people up in arms about a lot of things. If your justice system is broken, uh, there's literally no hope whatsoever. And I think people are really just kind of have like wow moment like our hopes are just kind of like wow finally something something gives about time something gives anyway this is not meant to be a long video it's just meant to be like wow wow i didn't see that coming my wisdom tool didn't see that coming either but you know out and about okay i'm i don't think i'm ready to be making videos as such so i'm gonna just stop talking right now because uh oh that talking is just such a drag right now never mind the chewing part anyway thanks for watching my video just take care of yourselves out there and do stay safe remember we're on our level four right now covid 19 is still out there guys it's not a joke okay please uh practice all restrictions guys we're begging you covid 19 doesn't have to continue all right let's restore a little bit of hope and dignity in people as well you know people don't have to die out there all right all right, love and peace. God bless. Do like the video. Do leave a comment too, please. Uh, uh, help my channel to to you know perform better because I'm not really uploading lately because of this issue right now. But thanks for stopping by if you watch this far. All right, super and God bless.